You know what DaVinci Resolve doesn't have? Easy, drag and drop, highly customizable masking effects for the edit page. So I did it myself. A whole pack of drag and drop masking effects right on the edit page, highly customizable. Even toss on an outline if you want to. And this pack of masking effects I recently made entirely free. And if you think that is cool, you have to stick around for the rest of the video because this video is just going to be talking about cool presets and plugins for DaVinci Resolve. And if you're watching this video at launch, uh, stick around because at the end, we're going to talk about how this rolls into uh, this year's Black Friday sale. Ooh, um, <laughs> now, yes, every preset and plugin in this video is something that I have made. That's not because there aren't other amazing tools. I would love to talk about some more recent tools by other creators, but, you know, let me know if you want that in the comments below. But for this video, we're just talking about the cool things I've made for Resolve over the last five years doing this stuff. These aren't quite ranked. It's not the top 10, but just 10 free presets and plugins that I think are really, really cool. And hey, bonus on top of that, my 10 favorite uh, paid plugins or preset packs that I've made as well. I do love this mask pack, but if we hop over to the paid side of the show, um, we'll have something else that I've been showing off a lot recently, Proto V3. Highly customizable glow and distortion effects. You can use it on text, you can use it on custom paths. Uh, you can even use it on photo and video. And this is kind of a two for one bonus because we jumped to the top 10 paid products, but also I have a free version of Proto V3. It's called Proto V3 Lite. So this video is kind of like 11 free plugins for Resolve. It's very hard not to talk about Proto by itself for, for the entire length of this video, but hey, it's very, very cool. Links to all these plugins will be down below, uh, but especially Proto. Check out Proto. Back to our free plugins. Uh, we have a super basic speed lines effect. You know, the sort of like anime speed lines comes in, fades in towards the middle. Highly customizable if you want overall opacity or to change these colors or like how intense these lines are, how many lines there are. Even the speed, if you want to crank this down for like how quickly they like do their speed lines effect. You've got tons of options here. Oh, I also spaced because on this next paid plugin, it also has a free version, uh, kind of like Proto. This is my Easier Ease Pro plugin. And when you drop it on an effect, by default, nothing happens because this is an animation aid plugin. A lot of you know that by default, when you make uh, keyframes in almost every software, by default, they are linear. If I uh, move this over here, set a keyframe, come forward and slide this over. By default, it would just like move at a constant velocity between those two points. But what Easier Ease does is that it automatically adds some subtle easing into whatever motion you animate on these basic uh, position, size, and angle controls. It also has built-in motion blur controls and hey, even uh, built-in shake and mass controls. If I add a little shake, it'll just do this ongoing shake and then move and then keep that shake going. A solid default curve on this uh, eased animation right out of the box. On this one specifically, I believe this core functionality is in the free version, but this included mask controls and shake controls and maybe motion blur, I'm not sure, are in the paid version. Back to free, we have a collection of tracking controls. If I come in here, if I come to the beginning of this clip, toss on my overlay, I can see how this does tracking my eye. If I track forward, back and forth a solid little bit. We'll see how long this clip is. Oh, it's not too bad. Just let it do its thing. And then, hey, that tada is tracked over to my eye. I could reposition this, do all kinds of things there. Uh, it goes away because it jumps to a different tracking effect I have here. If I do the same thing, track over this eye and let that run. You'll see it actually repositions my video. So now if I scale in, we have this super popular locked on stabilization effect. So wherever my eye moves, it stays in the center of the screen. These are free. I do also have a paid master tracker plugin that does some other fancy stuff, uh, but I chose to show off the free tracking plugins because they're super useful. Back on the paid side of things, we have this YouTube overlay that's actually really slick. If I disable this clip, you see uh, that underneath it is just my full video, but when I have uh, the generator on top of that, it shrinks it down into the space to recreate this YouTube overlay. You have a bunch of video links on the side, which yes, you can customize all of these with a custom thumbnail and even titles and like how long ago they were published and their total views. You can customize this description and views down here. And this also has an alternate version that is just this full screen layout. And in both of these, the actual timing controls 
are perfectly relative. So like it'll load this buffer bar and then however long your clip is or however long you customize it to be based on these controls, it will actually give you that proper proportional play amount of the play bar as your clip progresses. Really slick. Next for free, I've got a paid title that is whoosh, this really slick Starfield review. This was based off of uh, a release event Apple did, where you can see, you can do this from the side, and then it reveals whatever text you type in here. And at the end, it actually starts to rotate the other way, so you could layer these back to back and swap between different words, or even just have this being like a perfectly looped GIF. Uh, really slick, made out of particles native to the Fusion page. Pretty basic controls, but pretty slick effect overall. Next is something I need a bit of more room to show off. I have nine video clips stacked, and if I come to my effects, open up Sterling Supply Co. here, I have two different things here, Layout Pro and Layout Pro Blocks. If I select all of these, I come to uh, Layout Pro V2, I can grab something uh, here, like nine by one. I can select all of these clips, make it a fusion clip, that sort of sums them down to one layer, but now if I drop on this Layout Pro, nine by one, it arranges those nine clips perfectly spaced in frame. And in the inspector, you have controls over moving around these elements. You have controls over their background or their drop shadow. That's really slick. That is Layout Pro V2 that gives this general look. All of these different uh, layouts you see here, up to 20 different video clips in frame. That's Layout Pro. Well, we also have Layout Pro Blocks, which is just another look at that. If I come to, oh, these are organized a little differently. If I grab a three by three, drop that on here, You'll see that Layout Pro Blocks is meant to you know, fill the entire space just with these little dividing lines instead of uh, putting these clips more in like individual box that live in this, this broader frame. And Layout Pro Block can fit up to a five by five grid. So 25 video clips can be instantly arranged in frame just by making them a fusion clip and dropping one effect on them. Pretty slick. If you've ever tried to do this manually, it can take a lot of time trying to dial things in, um, especially if your videos are like different aspect ratio or something like that. You have full control here uh, over, you can see I'm making this one clip bigger or larger. You have a lot of customization for how these look after the fact, especially in Layout Pro V2, uh, but Layout Pro Blocks, just an alternate take on that. Really uh, uh, slick plugins that, you know, they just do what it says on the tin really quickly, I like them. Next is one of my more popular free effects, this Picture in Picture Pro. It just, you know, scales down your image, uh, puts it in this little outline, uh, you can slide it down over into the corner. This is probably what I'm using in this exact video. You can even change the shape of this to all sorts of different shapes. You can add extra uh, outlines and color and animation. You can create a whole lot of different looks just with this one free drag and drop effect. Next paid plugin is Highlighter Pro. I like this a lot. I drop this on by default and you can see that whoosh, it draws on this little line here, that slick. If I toggle on my fusion overlay controls, you see that I can reposition this. We have several different styles we can choose from, including squiggles that give us this broader area. I really like the way these look. Or if you toggle on custom, you can change the color, the apply mode, uh, the animation speed, uh, even added texture, which you see a little bit of here. Really quick utility with, uh, of course, tons of customization, uh, but for these very popular sort of like draw on highlighter effects. I, ooh, ooh, th these are the kind of plugins I really, really like. Uh, and it, it, it works and I like it a lot. Highlighter Pro. Back on the free side of things, uh, like stuff like Highlighter Pro, it makes sense that's paid, that's like utility. I give away lots of like fun little stuff for free, like this uh, DVD logo screensaver where, ding. Uh, it, it pops around, you can uh, tag in your custom text here, or even like custom like images or video you can have bopping around the screen and changing color. I believe this is limited to this 16 by nine aspect ratio without having to hop into Fusion and change some backend controls. That's cool, right? This is actually based off of the particle system in Fusion. Some fun stuff going on, but this will actually run as long as you extend this to be. And every time it hits an edge, it will just change color. Pretty fun. Next in the paid is a pack of basic graphs and charts. So we have things like this like bar chart, pie chart, uh, and even this line grid. This is a pack I am definitely due to uh, revisit and add some function functionality and organization. But the really cool thing here is that all of these values stay mathematically correct. I can come in here, change these graph controls uh, to whatever value I want this. I can even change the maximum control up this 
bump this up to like 150 and then hey 150 percent doesn't really make sense so i just go in and get rid of this custom suffix and now we're dealing with those raw numbers uh tons of customization here really slick again graphs and charts Totally my wheelhouse, I'm comfortable here. Really do to revisit this pack, add some more cool tools or styles here. Uh, so maybe look for that early in the new year. We'll see how that goes. Next in Freeland is something uh, I've actually, uh, you've seen I've added to a few other effects, but it's just this master shake plugin. Drop it on anything if you want the position and the angle and the scale to shake. It will just do that. If you only want position, then only do position. If you only want scale, then only do scale and it will just wiggle on that you can change the strength of that scale or the wobble and the speed it's crazy real quick instead of diving into fusion or trying to uh, animate any of these manually uh, you can just use drag and drop controls for a really quick shake next paid pack is an entire pack this is 3d screen pro so here i had uh, this image of the UI tossed on this 3D screen effect and then it puts at an angle sort of pans over that. We have some optional depth blur controls, but importantly, if I pull up my um, effects library here, we have all these different, I believe we have 25 different styles and all of the thumbnails on the effects will show you what direction they're moving and what angle the footage is at. And if you scrub over, you should even get a preview of that move. Great for showing off screen recordings or even uh, uh, just like a capture of a, a web page or anything like that. Pretty slick, just pulling the 3D workspace out of Fusion, drag and drop on the edit page. Next up for free is a fun little pack. Uh, I just recreated a bunch of the classic like word art styles from like Microsoft Word in like the 90s uh, as textiles in Resolve. We've got 16 of these different ones, lots of classic works. Toss them up as a title, they're not animated or anything. Uh, because the originals weren't animated. Uh, uh, hey, free titles that I made just because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> Next up on the paid track is Subtitle Pro. And look, hey, and then zoop, does, it goes away at the end. <laughs> Subtitle Pro is an animation engine. And actually, uh, it might be a product I'm gonna rename to something like Text Animation Pro or whatever, because I did make this before a lot of the added subtitle animation first features were added into Resolve. But this gives you all your normal text controls, including shading, but then it has this animation tab. So if you want animation in or out, you can customize those here, uh, whether it slides in or it, like rotates or like fades in. Uh, lots of those options just living here on animation controls. And you can even uh, design a custom like shading look and custom animation, save that back to your effects library, and you can use that as the title for uh, like the built-in resolve uh, animated presets. So like to design new text animation uh, that you can use other places, I think it's pretty slick. Next for free is my Master Countdown V2. This is a bit of an old one, but you can see uh, this is a like 12 second countdown because I stretched this clip to be 12 seconds long. If I stretch it to be longer, it'll be a longer countdown. By default, it has this flip where you can enter two different text fields and then it rotates between them until it gets down to zero. But you can also just do a bar with this, again, accurate timing or oh, straight timer <laughs> if you want it, or the circle, which fills up as it counts down to zero, or I guess fills down. Some simple customization controls here as well. Again, this is a, one of my more ancient plugins, but still super useful, but maybe this is also due to revisit. Then again, I don't know, it's free. Back for paid, we have a screen pump effect, which by default, goes crazy uh, because kind of like uh, my master shake plugin, we have individual parameters. So it has one basic timing engine that's running, but then it adds blur, hue, uh, shift, gain shift, saturation, rotation, shake, and zoom. If I uncheck all of these except zoom, then it will just be how fast is that? Well, that's based on the actual BPM. So if you wanna sync this up to a song, you can uh, find like a tap calculator or something like that online, find the BPM of your song, and then whatever effects you want, those will increase in strength based on the actual BPM. And this actually looks at your timeline uh, frame rate. So like I do all the math for you in the back end, pretty slick. Again, you can also just change this to random, in which case it'll like go crazy. Um, at like completely r random times, but hey, you got flexibility. And if you're doing like a music video or anything when you want this basic effect, I can't think of a faster way to do it. The last one on my uh, free presets list is just number plus. The default text effect in Resolve is text plus, so now we have number plus. 
Again, it looks the same through the shading uh, elements and all the transform, those options, but now we have a number tab. And you can increase this number and choose if you want decimal points and change the prefix. If you don't want it dollars, change it to something else. If you can also add a suffix like tacos, add a little space in there. And check it out, you can animate these. You can go from zero tacos up to 291 tacos and it will animate. Wow, pretty slick, simple text tool. I just wired up some of this in the back end, um, but especially working with decimals, um, like it, it'll just like handle all that for you in the back end. If you ever need simple numbers in, in any part of your text, again, I don't think there's an easier way. And number plus, it's free. And the last paid plugin I'm showing off over here uh, is a set of titles back again for YouTube. These are just simple subscribe buttons. And hey, if you're watching this video and you've gotten this far and you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We've got some really fun stuff coming early next year. We've got a simple standalone subscribe button. We got the like button. Uh, we've got this full look again with these extra accents. I updated this for the change in 2025. I think there might've been another small change. So these are probably also due for an update, but whether you want this uh, uh, pointer or cursor in there or not, or just the button by itself, all these little accents. Again, you can customize this with your thumbnail, your channel name, all in the inspector. Uh, slick little pack of YouTube graphics. And uh, oh wow, I, we've covered uh, with variations, I think like 21, 22 different presets for DaVinci Resolve, over half of them completely for free. And hopefully the little bit I've shown you of the paid products uh, has you interested to check out some of those. Again, links to the store page for all of these will be in the description. Uh, on those store page, they do also link back to the videos on my channel, or you can you know click over to the channel, search around there, you've got options. Of course, you could just head straight to sterlingsupply.co where all of these live, again, this is what I've been up to for like the last five years. So somehow if you haven't seen any of these, you got a lot to go check out. And like I teased at the beginning, I am releasing this video uh, right before a bunch of holidays this year in 2025. So we're gonna kick off a uh, Black Friday sale that will go live as soon as this video is live depending on how fast I can edit it. And then that Black Friday sale uh, will be ongoing for a few days. Right at the top of the description will be that promo code if that sale is ongoing. If you're watching this video within a few days of release, check the description. And if not, you, you know, uh, stick around because I like running sales every once in a while. Of course, you don't need to wait for sale if you want to pick any of these up. If you do want to wait for sale, go pick up some free presets. In the meantime, I made these things because I think they're super cool. Hopefully you do too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.